Hey, Southern California, Leah Jasmine here for NBC4. Now you have likely already heard that we have seen the most amount of wildfires and the biggest wildfires in recent history. But did you know that the local invasive plants actually play a major role in spreading these wildfires? So much so, in fact, that the grass I am currently standing on has been dubbed LA's evil plant. I went on a walk with Joseph, a restoration ecologist with the National Park Service, to learn why these invasive plants are so evil. An invasive plant is a, a plant that has evolved in a different geographic region, and it is now in a, a new region, and it is causing significant harm in that region. We have over 100 non-native species that we consider to be invasive. We can't treat all of them feasibly, so we have uh, reduced it down to what we call our Evil 25, our list of Evil 25 invasive species. I met up with Marty Whittier, a fire ecologist, to understand how invasive plants spread wildfire. They die and they dry, and they are, they're exactly what we, you would use to uh, start a campfire. This drier vegetation that you see, this drier grass, these are annual grasses. These are non-native invasive species that dry up quick and they stay dry all through the summer. Um, the chances of igniting in these uh, annual grasses is much higher than this greener vegetation that you see, which is our native shrubs. High above City Hall, Fire Captain Eric Scott explains what firefighters face when they go up against these brush fires. It's very hot. It's very trying. It's, it's very uh, demanding on, on, the, on our firefighters' bodies, in particular uh, internal heating. That's why we wear different type of, of protective gear for wildland than you would for a structure fire. We would love to put a fire engine in every driveway of every home when there's a fire burning. That's simply not possible. So the way that people have the defense is by removing all of the vegetation uh, that's not ornamental vegetation around their home 200 feet. Uh, that really reduces the rapid spread of that fire when it just has dirt instead of uh, more vegetation to burn. When we come up as firefighters and we see a property that has had that proper brush clearance, we will put firefighters on that property in between that wall of flame and in between that home and they will save it. The upcoming challenge is ours, we haven't even really hit the windy times where the Santa Anas come through and that's in September and October. And when we see those winds that come through a brush fire, it moves it like a freight train. If you or members of your community are interested in actually helping the National Park Service pull out these invasive plants, uh, they actually are seeking volunteers. You can head to the article that accompanies this video on NBCLA.com for more information.